Okay, Samo, 90 seconds, no filter. I've got some questions for you. Answer as quickly as you can, but honestly, authentic as I know you will be. First one, best advice you've been given? Don't take too much contact playing rugby. And Lomu, down goes Sampson. Best financial decision you've made? Buying property. Okay. Best investment in yourself? S development, time to myself to develop myself and, and grow. Okay, time, that's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Night in with Hayley or night out with the boys? Hayley, <laughs> Hayley obviously. <laughs> Which living person do you most admire? Um, cool, that's a tough one. Just for out of just humour and um, inspiration, Liam Gallagher. Really? Yeah. Okay. Which living person do you most despise? Don't despise anybody. His brother. <laughs> <laughs> don't join that camp. No, don't despise anybody. <laughs> Which person, alive or not alive, mm -hmm. would you most like to have a drink with? Oh, I have to say, my old man. Not with us anymore, but okay. definitely love a beer with him again. Nice. Biggest motivation? Kids. Biggest fear? The kids getting old. Okay. Quite like them as they are. <laughs> They're great lads as well, so I can see why. <laughs> um, most impulsive purchase that you've made? Porsche. Which Porsche? 911 Turbo. When? At the time I couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was injured playing rugby. No rugby players really in those days could afford a Porsche. Okay. I found a way. You had fun though. <laughs> I certainly did. Got stolen actually. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had, a, an, we had an RPA insurance um, deal uh, and once the Porsche got nicked, everyone's premiums went, <laughs> went through the roof. <laughs> so was, yeah, because of the Porsche, yeah. Who so. were you playing for at the time? Wasps, London Wasps. Yeah. yeah. So I wasn't popular really. <laughs> Greatest achievement? Playing for my country, probably. Well, there's two, playing for my country in rugby and winning the English schools uh, 100 metres when I was 17. Best day of your life? Um, has to come back to the kids. Yeah. Yeah, having uh, Oscar and Jude there on there. Yeah, when they were born, definitely. Best app that you've got on your phone? Other than. <laughs> Other than one you were just showing me. Um. I, well, I quite like to keep across my rugby. Um, it's quite a boring one, but I quite like the, uh, the Telegraph app because they, they cover rugby very well. <laughs> Telegraph. Okay. Yeah. Cool. What's the best thing that you've done for your health and fitness? You're obviously big into your cycling. I have been, yeah. But the best thing I've done from health and fitness, um, I think, I think obviously just trying, trying to keep fit, trying to keep interested in, in health and fitness because it's something that was a discipline for my whole life, really it has been. So finding something that I enjoy um, whilst listening to my body, I think so. Listening to your body is important when you've had the knocks, got sure. the injuries. So. Yeah, finding something and remaining interested, in, but you've got to look after yourself. You can't just rely on having played a sport once in your life. So, how did you look after yourself in between games? Was was were you into ice baths back then, or, or was it massages, you or get cryotherapy? Or? Yeah, you didn't get a choice really. Cryotherapy wasn't as easily accessible back then. Um, but you, yeah, you just had to. Uh, you did as you were told. You know, ice baths were were, were, were a given. That's what you had to do. Um, and then, yeah, after that, it was nutrition and hydration. There's a lot more science come behind it now, a lot more availability, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what you did. Awesome. Part, of, part of your career, so you did as you were told. Thank you very much, mate. Top, Good answers, awesome. Please do subscribe, hit the button.